Hi guys, it's Karen of Health and Swellness and this here is little Maya and she will always be a kitten to me because I met her when I was bottle feeding kittens as a volunteer and I couldn't resist her little face. Look at her little half orange face. And so I had to adopt her and she's just one of the cat rescues that lives with me. There's an older guy back there named Kobe. He's probably sleeping. So I'm a huge animal lover and um, most of my volunteer work usually involves animals. I'll let you go now, Maya, because I know you want to go. So why am I talking to you about cats? Not because I'm a crazy cat lady, but because I'm taking part in the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon Challenge, Charity Challenge. And what is that, if you're not familiar with it? Well, as part of the race, instead of just running the race because you love running, you can fundraise for one of the charities, and it helps you make your race a little bit more meaningful. Um, last year, I took part for the first time, and it was for another cat rescue organization, and it was nice to, to know that my running had a purpose, and that I was hoping to you know, feed feral cats, to help cats find homes, um, yeah, so this year, I, oh, that's Kobe. All right, do you want to make a cameo? I want to say hello, Kobe. This here is Kobe, and he is my other cat rescue. You just didn't want to be left out, did you? Okay, I'll let you go now, too. So, this year, I'm fundraising for Toronto Cat Rescue. Toronto Cat Rescue is a volunteer-driven organization. And there are, um, at any time, 300 cats that they have available for adoption. And they help to find homes for these cats. And they're also active with the feral cat community in Toronto and helping to care for them. Um, and so I'm proud to be working with them and helping these cats of Toronto that need, need love and they need food and they need caring. So. I'll be doing 21.1 kilometers, which um, which is no joke. This is probably my 15th half marathon, and it's 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 a distance. So, um, in preparation for the race, Scotiabank sent me a kit. So let's see what's in this kit. Okay. So, oh, there's a Cielli Athletics cap, which is the official STWM cap. And there is this, oh, look at this tiny shoe box. How adorable is it? Inside, there's a gift card for Nike, so I will be well geared up for the race. That's great. And wait, I see some fuel. Okay, some products from Power Bar for both during the race. And there are some bars as well. So I don't have to worry about fuel. Um, thankfully, I don't suffer from blisters, but let's say I do. Here are some polysporin blister treatments. And, oh, this will be a must after the race. Voltaren for sore and tired muscles after the race. So the race is October 16th. How can you take part? Well, if you're planning on racing, you can go and register with one of the charities on the torontowaterfrontmarathon.com website. And if you're not running, I'm running 21.1K, so maybe you can sponsor me if you'd like to support Toronto Cat Rescue and help them reach their goal of raising $30,000. Um, the link will be on my website, and you can follow along in my progress um, training for this race. I will admit I haven't been training that much, but uh, I'll make it through. I'll make it through the 21.1K. So thanks, guys, and... Um, Hope to see you out there and uh, yeah, October 16th. There's only a few weeks left to go.